Hello and welcome to Nottingham Music Excellence for another clarinet tutorial. So I'm going to play A1 from the clarinet grade 4 book today. It's the children's chorus from that very famous opera Carmen by Bizet. Hope you enjoy the video. So as well as demonstrating the music, I'm going to also give you a short tutorial on the detail of the music. And also I'm going to give you an opportunity to play along with the accompaniment all by yourself. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music. Let's say a few words about some of the detail and what you need to do to make this sound really awesome. So first of all, I think you've got to pronounce the title on this one. I'm, I've had a, a few goes at it. Um, French isn't my thing, but here we go. Avec la garde montante. Is that about right? Something like that. So basically, it means with the new guard, it says above it here. And I think this is quite a tricky piece for grade four. It's very, um, it's very strict on the rhythm, almost like a percussion player. You know, there's lots of kind of no legato playing at all. Um, so okay so far, but to keep that going for a whole page, I think is quite tricky. So the rhythmic aspects of the piece, I think, are physically quite tiring to get through. After you've done a whole page of, of tonguing without any legato playing, I think it does get quite physically tiring. Um, so there's lots of this. And then all the. Okay, so let's talk about that section in the middle from 33 onwards. Now this needs to be very, very precise. Uh, again, very percussion-like here. And you've got the added thing with coming off the A key and also going around the break a bit. And then you've got to fit those little bits in the middle. And then the next one, perhaps you could say that was slightly trickier maybe with the A's and then over the break. Now here, I personally would just want to use one finger for the B. I think that's going to get quite clumsy if you've got the C and the B key down. So I think that's quite nice. You can just minimise the key work a little bit, just one finger on that right hand B. You could actually, could you get away with just keeping that down maybe? You could get away with kind of keeping that finger down actually for most of that, which might help you to just kind of reduce the flapping around a little bit. And then as you move deeper into the piece from 53 onwards, the dynamic is louder. We've got the forte. Yeah. 
you're going to start to get a little bit of fatigue, I think, creeping in here as you've done, kind of get towards the bottom of that page, but then you've got to back off on the dynamic. And then you've got the big moment with the key change. So watch your sharps here. There's a good splattering of sharps, E sharp with your F fingering, E sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E. So you've got to know your little finger keys quite well here, your lefts and your rights. You've got to be prepared to use both sides quite comfortably and hit that key change. So all in all, I think quite a nice, cheerful, quite a nice bouncy piece to play, but deceptively a little bit difficult Quite tricky on the stamina, I think, for young players to do a page of tonguing. And as I say, you don't really get any time off in there. There's just the odd rest here and there. So I think, I think the places to breathe in this are quite obvious where to breathe, but just you don't get you don't get really get any time off. So I think you will find it quite taxing this piece. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to say on the detail of the music here. Have a go at playing along with the accompaniment yourself and see how you get on with that. Here we go. Okay, so I think that's it for the children's chorus for this one. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did find it useful, of course, click that like button, maybe consider subscribing to Nottingham Music Excellence. But for this one, that's it, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.